That's funny. Yeah, I almost wore that t-shirt today. What's that? I almost wore that t-shirt today. That would have been awkward. How are you, brother? Hello, mate. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Here we are. That is so bizarre. I almost wore... Didn't I think I wore the same thing as you the last time I did? I almost wore t that, the black version of that T-shirt today. That is really bizarre. I certainly have a very strange bit of deja vu with that. Did someone word you up? What's that? Did someone word you up? Is this a stitch up? What? <laughs> what? What? Because, <laughs> mate, it's been a running joke. The first thing we were going to say to you was, does this T-shirt mean anything to you? Because... Uh, a year ago when we met... You've got a smirk on your face, A year man. ago when we met and you said, oh, I used to have that T-shirt. No, no, oh, no, no. You said I was going to wear that T-shirt and I said, it's a joke, Fitzy. Rob's having a laugh. He doesn't own that T-shirt. That's really bizarre. And now it's the first thing you've come out with. I, I, Jenny, I have it with me in my suitcase. Um, <laughs> That's <laughs> Before we started, yeah. we, have, we got all that and I just didn't want to talk right, over it. Right, yeah. So, so did you bring out. it to Australia, that T-shirt? Yeah. How funny yeah. is that? You win, mate. Well, we, we, <laughs> but that's a better one. That fit, my one, my one's a kind of like it's like a fat girls one or something. Oh yeah. damn! Well, I might borrow yours. We it's heard, short and wide. We heard a rumor <laughs> that when you were doing promotion for the Twilight movies, that you play a game with the other cast members, saying that whenever someone comes in, you go, "Oh, it's funny that you're wearing. I've got that same T-shirt." And then you see if they say it to the next person. That's what we heard. Oh really? But that's a. Oh no. I'm right. glad. Well done, mate. You've had a win. Well <laughs> I have no plan. I just talk loads of That's control. amazing. I'm glad you said it, mate. <laughs> That's blown me away. <laughs> Could you sign my T-shirt before yeah, sure. we go? Just to make sure that this is the real <laughs> deal. He, he walked to work today we, and he said, he said, Rob's got one. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's got one. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> go really on. Well, sign done. it up on me boob up here. <laughs> You're a gun. Thank you very much, bro. Man, that was so funny that you brought it up. Amazing <laughs> timing. Amazing yeah, timing. Now, last time we also chat with the last film, of course, and we said that we couldn't believe the devastation when there was that first intimate moment with Bella. In the next film, mate, do you do any more renos or <laughs> is everything OK? Because the poor bedroom got destroyed last time. What has happened? I haven't even seen this one. OK. There's like a... No, I think it's kind of... I think it's better in this one. Okay. <laughs> it actually works. Not as violent? One. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I can't really, I can't actually remember. I, no, I actually remember, I remember shooting it and it was one of the most embarrassing things I've ever done in my life because yeah. it's trying to shoot PG-13 stuff. Yes. And oh, yes. so you can't shoot anything. So they, they decided to shoot close-ups of our faces, me and Kristen, like, trying to do, like, like sexy faces to to no, to to the camera. Yeah, basically. sure, sure. And then when you suddenly you suddenly get to a point where you're thinking, this face is going to be on a cinema screen. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. people that are actually going to watch it. And my parents are going to see yeah. it as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, that's like, the other thing. Yeah. Did you do, did you do some practice in front of the mirror for those sorts of mm. looks when you need to hold that glance? I mean, I, I did. That is just impossible to prepare for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what was the, the sexy face? Because you've got your 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 fans, the Edward fans. What was the reaction at the end of the last one? Part one, when you actually bit her at the end and she turns into a vampire, did mm. you get a little bit of backlash with that? <laughs> For turning her into it. Um, I mean, it's not you in real life, Rob, but <laughs> <laughs> that would be really funny. Yeah. Clarifying that. Place, some people just couldn't get over it. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. I don't really. I mean, the reactions haven't really changed no. since the first one. Just screaming. Yeah. Yeah. But it must be amazing now uh, going out with someone that has the same uh, blood temperature as you, I think, which is a big feature in the movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, the cold... Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure if they feel warm now. I guess they would feel warm to each other. Warm to you. It's hard yeah. to tell, isn't it? God, it's just too complicated <laughs> for me. So for all the Aussie Twilight fans, Breaking Dawn Part 2, I mean, have we got a big ending coming up here? Robert, is it is it going to be mind blowing? Is the end scene just just going to blow everyone away? I mean, hopefully. Yeah. It's kind of different to the book. It's completely different to the book. But I think I pretty much, when there's about twenty people doing interviews about the the supposedly secret ending, <laughs> it's kind yeah. of given it away a little yeah. bit. But um, but anyone who's read the books could probably predict what it's going to be. But just seeing this massive finale with. I think there's about 120 people in the final scene. Wow. Um, which hasn't really, doesn't ever happen in any of the Twilight movies. Um, 
So that, yeah, hopefully that's going to be exciting for people. Mm. Right, absolutely, mate. Can't wait to see the film. Uh, is it sad for you that it's winding up? Or did you hear about the good news with Stephanie Meyer overnight? Oh, yes. She's well, written another four books, so you're off again. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 I can totally imagine that happening, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, I just think that... And what what would be really embarrassing if they just if um, someone said they're just going to reshoot the same books yeah. just with a different actor? Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Remake it in twenty years' yeah. time, <laughs> and then everyone was like, "Oh man, this guy's so much better doing this." <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think, mate? I mean, what are some of the you know different types of movies or that next step for where you want to go? What's what's going through your mind? Um, I'm doing a, I'm doing the first thing I'm doing next year. I'm doing this thing. Uh, with an Australian director uh, called David Michaud who did Animal Kingdom. Oh, great. Yeah, great right. film. Yeah, his second thing with Guy Pearce. Um, and then after that, I think I'm shooting something in Iraq, um, oh, wow. which is pretty crazy. So that'll be a dark movie with David, wouldn't it? Is that sort it's of a pretty, dark Yeah, it's yeah. Like Are you a dark, bad? Darker than dark. Are like you a <laughs> bad boy in that? Um, sort, sort of. of. He's, like kind of a, he's kind of a criminal. It's like a little bit in the future. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's, it's kind of like a western. It's a sort of it's yeah. a slightly yeah, right. futuristic western. Um, it's all shooting in the middle of nowhere in uh, southern Australia. Right. Well, your work ethic's pretty full on, mate. Like, I mean, you, I mean, you've had a. Someone told me that you've had like a, about a week off for the whole year shooting with Twilight and uh, another movie that you've just shot as well, and you just haven't had time off. Uh, no, I haven't done anything for ages. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you read that, mate? Research. <laughs> but I think it kind of. I've been promoting stuff all the time, but I was supposed to be shooting this movie in Iraq the end of this year, right. and then they pushed it back and blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, I haven't done any for ages. I can't remember how to act anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Robert Panson admits to being lazy. That's yeah. the first. And you're not looking after yourself while you're here in Australia. You're, you're drinking uh, a glass of Coke mm -hmm. and a packet of Tim Tams chewy caramel next to you there, mate. The, 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 that's what I look forward to the most, coming to Australia. <laughs> Tim Tams? I've gone through a whole pack of them already. <laughs> Have you? Because when you were here last, uh, water for elephants? Uh -huh. and they had you next to an elephant by the Harbour Bridge. Yeah, were you yeah, snacking yeah. on the Tim Tams then as well, mate? Was oh, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. You can't get them anywhere. You can't get them outside of Australia. Can you? So I don't think so. No,